20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15. Imagine losing yourself to what others perceive you to be. Imagine waking up and dreading every bit of your life. Imagine trying to make others believe that you're happy, when in reality, you're so dead inside, you're practically rotting. Desmond, I know this is tough, but we want to help you. We can't begin to do that unless you tell us what happened. Imagine that boy is you. It's OK to talk. No one's going to force you to say anything. You can talk whenever you're ready. Hey, you're gay, right? You like taking it up the butt? That's bad. If I said I wanted your body right now, would you hold it against me? Just shut up. Just shut up and do your work. Desmond, Harry, do we have a problem? Then please get back to work. Yeah, just be a good boy and get back to work, freak. Didn't I just tell you to shut up? Desmond, can I speak with you in the hall, please? Is there something going on, Desmond? I know how Harry can be, but you usually don't act like this. Yeah, I'm fine. Just tired. I haven't been sleeping well. Well, I hope you get more rest, Desmond. And please, let me know if you're having any trouble with anything. You're failing all your classes. Desmond, are you even paying attention? You really think people are going to believe you over me? Believe you over me? I think Christian's going to propose to me after we graduate. Propose to me. Christian, what's good? You trying to chill after school? I would, bro, but me and Alicia got some business to take care of, if you know what I mean. And I bet she looks like a little freak of me. Hey, it's not my fault. She's got so much stamina. All right, bro. I know you're in here, Desmond. I saw you walk in. Can't even look me in the eyes. That's rude. We haven't had a chance to talk since Alicia's party. You should really be in class. Never know what kind of psycho might be walking around the hall. Oh, and do me a favor. Tell Alicia I'll be picking her up after practice. Thanks. I'm fine. You take government, right? We take government together. I sit three rows ahead of you. My name's Eliza. Ladies. He's a total jerk. Pretty broke some kid's nose once because the kid called him a fruit or something. He's just like every other stupid jock, except that he has the personality of Ted Bundy. I mean, what's attractive about a future serial killer? My sister dates him. Lucky girl. 
Hey, you look like you could use some rest. Do you want to ride home? I still have geometry. So? Let's just go now. It's not like you're going to miss something. Feels nice to be out of class. Yeah, definitely. You think your parents are going to flip? My dad's not supposed to be home for another 20 minutes. I should be fine. You're lucky. Seems like my parents are never home anymore. They're always busy with something. My dad's always around since my mom died. I'm sorry. What happened? She had a heart attack when I was four. Wow. Makes me appreciate my mom a little more. Hey, I gotta pick up my sister from daycare, so I gotta go. It's cool. Thanks for the ride. No problem. You want to ride to school tomorrow? Sure. It's okay with you? Of course. I'll pick you up around 7.30, okay? Why aren't you in school? I only missed one class, Dad. It's not a big deal. You already missed a whole week when you had the stomach flu. I'm sorry I didn't feel like sitting around in class and vomiting all over myself, Dad. Aren't you supposed to be at work or something anyways? Hey, watch the way you talk to me. I was watching that. You can watch TV later. Right now, we need to talk. About what? How great my day was? About your attitude problem? About how you're, you're failing classes? Your teacher called and he told me that you got into an argument with a classmate today. Just leave me alone. Desmond, I am really concerned about you. It's nothing, Dad. I'm just stressed. If there's something serious going on in your life, son, we need to talk about it. Even if it's bad? What's going on? Your brother and I, we were, we're just, just uh... finishing up a conversation. I have to get to my homework. I'll see you at dinner. Hey, I want to talk to you. About what? Christian told me you don't like us being together. Why would you say that? I never said that. Christian loves me, and I love him. Why won't you just let me be happy with him? Maybe I just don't see the same Christian that you do. I know Christian can be really angry sometimes. How? Has he done something? Has he ever hurt you? No, he hasn't hurt me. Of course not. I mean, not physically, anyway. Some people act like a totally different person when something sets them off. It's only happened once or twice when I've been around, but when it happened, it was like he was possessed. You shouldn't have to put up with that abuse. You just don't understand. I'm going to go check my Facebook. I'll talk to you later. Yesterday, I heard someone saying that you were trying to flirt with Christian at your sister's party. Can you believe that? Who would start that rumor? Why would anyone believe that's even true? And what difference would it make? People just like making up stories and seeing who ends up getting hurt. It's the worst excuse I've ever heard. I'm sorry. I've been talking to somebody else. No, of course not, Christian. Somebody else actually knows. Keep your voice down. Please calm down. Care? Then answer my text message. I'm sorry. Don't be next time. What the hell does he think he's doing? Alicia! I can't do this anymore. Do what? Christian hurt me, Eliza. And I can't keep quiet anymore. I have to tell someone. Someone has to know what he did to me. He's not going to ruin our lives anymore. What is it you wanted to tell me, Desmond? Christian did something. Did what? He hurt me. Hurt you? How? Two months ago, Alicia had a party when you were out of town. 
was studying in my room when Christian came in. I didn't think anything of it at first since he's dating Alicia. But then he locked the door behind him. He was looking at me weird. God, freaked me out. So I tried to get him to leave. But when I stood up, he, he shoved me. He called me. He called me weak. And then he grabbed me and he, he pinned me down so I couldn't move. I struggled and I, I screamed for him to stop but no one could hear me because of the party downstairs. When he was done, he, he just left without saying anything. I was so in shock, I, I couldn't feel anymore. It was like it wasn't my body anymore. I couldn't believe what just happened. thought maybe it was a dream, <laughs> but it became real when I found blood on the sheets. I want you to know that what you just did took a lot of strength. What happens now? I'll have to ask you some specific maybe uncomfortable questions. Then I'll begin the investigation by collecting evidence. And then they'll, uh, they'll lock up that boy for good, right? If Christian is convicted, he's gonna face some serious punishment. But that's up to a jury to decide. For now, let's just focus on Desmond. We can get you in contact with someone from the Rape Crisis Center. They focus on counseling, for survivors of sexual assault. If you're ready to take these steps, we can start right now by you filling out this report. Imagine finding yourself even when you thought you were gone. Imagine finding the courage and freedom to speak and use your voice. Now imagine that person is you. Hi, I'm Roxy. I was a junior at the Cleveland School of the Arts when I wrote the film Speechless. To learn more about this film and how to use it in your school, visit scenariosusa.org.